All right, so guys, today I'm going to be talking about is Mihawk Admiral level. Now, a guy in my comment section brought this to my attention. I just thought I'll just do a video on it. And I made a few notes, so I'm just going to go down the list on what I think. And some of these are actually facts, and you guys can check them. And I'm sure you guys, if you guys think about it, you'll come to the same conclusion that I have. Now, number one, I don't think that he's Admiral level. But I do think he's the same level as Doflamingo. Now, Doflamingo was close to Admiral level. And I say he was close because he was very tough. Again, very tough. But I do think in terms of strength and defense, Mihawk is close. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. Bring up the fact that, which goes into my first point, the fact that Whitebeard said, um, not actual quotes, but he did say something along the line that, he remembered Mihawk versus Shanks, how their dudes used to bring sounds to his ears. Now, I thought about this for a while, and I don't think that that duel happened um, for, a, for a long time. Um, for a fact... We know that the duel didn't happen when he lost his arm. Um, so it was before then. This was when Luffy at the time was around 7, 8. So it happened way before then. Um, when he had two arms. And there's no telling how strong Shanks was at the time, how strong Mihawk was at the time. But I, I will say on this point, I will say that... Um, also, another, another fact to reiterate that is... When Luffy first got his bounty poster, Mihawk went to visit Shanks. And Shanks wasn't in a good mood, and he asked, um, are you here for a fight? And Mihawk said he has no interest in fighting a guy with one arm. Keep in mind, he lost the arm, um, he lost the arm saving Luffy when Luffy, at the time, Luffy was at eight. Luffy was eight years old, sorry. He was eight years old. So it was a long time, about 10 years, 10 years back. So there's no... There's no points or facts pointing to a recent duel between the two. So that's why I'm trying to say that he can't be Admiral level. In, in order to be Admiral level, you have to be sort of Yonko level. You have to be powerful, very powerful. So that's why I've come to the conclusion, one of them, one of the points why he's not Admiral level. Now, the next point is um, during the war at Marine Ford, Mihawk started it off by saying he wanted to test to see how far his strength between Whitebeard is. Now, of course, strength equals title, but he wanted to find out the level, meaning he hasn't had a scuffle with um, Shanks in a while because Shanks is a young coat, and I'm guessing you can get a strength gauge between the two. And we all know Mihawk hasn't had any real fight, any real fights any anytime soon, any any anytime. Um... Also, I want to say that why would he test um, Whitebeard if he knows that he's same strength or above? Why would he? And um, he said he wanted to measure the distance, meaning he knowingly knew that there was a distance between them. He just wanted to see how far it was. So that's another point between him and Whitebeard. And if you don't check, if you don't believe me, you can go back and watch the anime, read the manga, and you can see the quotes. These are facts here, not what I'm just saying. Also, um, this goes into the next point. Zoro stated that he trained every day. He he was happy that he got to train every day in order to top him. Now, why would you say that if you haven't surpassed or passed? I mean, if you haven't passed Mihawk. Now, this happened in an episode when they were heading to Fishman Island, when they were fighting the Kraken. Before he attacked the Kraken, he said he was glad that he had a chance to train every day to top him. Now, there was no, um, it's kind of a tricky way, because it's kind of a present, pa present past, future. It's, it's kind of tricky on the word, top him. It's kind of tricky. So that was another thing that leads me to think that, um, and we all know Zoro isn't um, Admiral level. He's close. He's very close. Now, I'm not going to say very close, but he's getting there. 
he's getting there. Um, this also believes me because for a fact we know Zora is an admiral level. Not for a fact, but we know that he is an admiral level. In common sense, he isn't. So by saying he topped um, Mihawk, if it is true, we know Zora is an admiral level. So we can also say that Mihawk is an admiral level if it is true. That's just a thought. But they are these are quotes that I took from the anime and the manga. Now, Mihawk's moves, they're deflectable. Um, I haven't seen any other Admiral moves that were deflectable yet. Meaning, a ton of guys blocked his moves. A ton of guys warded it off. And in order to be at Admiral level, you have to you have to have a destructive and killing intent behind every blow. You have to. Um, also... Uh, what else? Um, also, Mihawk is quite old. Many of you guys don't know, but he's he's 42 after the time skip, I think. 42 or 43 after the time skip. Um, that age has to do with his strength, but... Uh, what else? Uh, I think that's about it. But I've... Doing all of this research, I've come to the conclusion that I don't think that Mihawk is Admiral level, but I do think that he's at the same level as Doflamingo. Keep in mind, Doflamingo was very tough. Very a tough guy. Favorite villain, by the way. Um, and what else? Uh, sorry, I'm doing a video on my car. They're trimming the trees outside and it's quite noisy. And my wife and daughter is home. And you already know they're making a lot of noise. But anyways, I hope you guys... I hope we can see eye to eye on these notes. But as of right... Cause, because as of right now, we can definitely say that Mihawk is an Admiral level. Definitely. Or he is in Yonko level. Definitely. And um, if you guys like this video and want me to do a follow-up, I'll do a follow-up on is he Yonko level. And um, I, think I, I think just by thinking about it right now, I think I have some good ideas and good... And good points. But uh, thanks for watching.